Studios.com studios in Austin, Texas. Again, I am on the road today working on a story coming to you from Texas. Again, David Knight is deep in the heart of Texas, Austin, Texas. And we've got a lot of news and information, obviously, to cover. I'm not just going to break down the truth behind ISIS and how this whole situation, uh, this you know, three-day bombing campaign that's continuing is total theater, just because uh, it's big news that Obama is doing a few airstrikes a day, supposedly, against IS or ISIS or al-Qaeda targets. It's more important because it is what I call a Rosetta Stone that we talk so much about that decodes basically the entire pantheon of globalist manipulation and how their dark logic operates and how it manipulates where you fund all sides and then gain power by playing the part of the good guys out of the chaos that you help uh, sow and, and, and foster and promote. There's a special video report up on InfoWars.com that I shot Friday for InfoWars Nightly News that's extremely, extremely important. And we're going to be playing some of that report uh, here today. And, and it will be powerful for radio listeners, but I particularly want to challenge uh, radio listeners to go to InfoWars.com forward slash show and watch the video so you can see the news articles and see the admissions uh, for yourself. The title of the video is Obama's ISIS Bombing Hoax Exposed. And it's about 17 minutes long. The video's total 20 minutes, but there's a th three-minute ad or two-minute ad at the end of it. So it's about 17 minutes long. We're going to be airing that uh, coming up uh, about 20 minutes into the transmission here today. Uh, David and I will also open the phones up in the second hour and get into all the other financial news, the Obamacare news, the open borders news, uh, the attack on the Second Amendment news, uh, and the fact that Nixon, this was the 40th anniversary uh, on Friday of Nixon resigning, and we have that video of his uh, Oval Office television resignation uh, there in the scratchy color video uh, from the late 1970s. So we're going to be playing that uh, coming up uh, as well, or I guess mid-1970s, 1974. We're going to be playing all of that uh, coming up today and, and contrasting Nixon to Obama when I have not lionized Richard Milhouse Nixon in any way, uh, or, or, or Attorney Minnesota have a saint. But quite frankly, Richard Nixon was a saint uh, in many respects. I mean, even Clinton, who's horrible, uh, is not as bad as Obama. And we can't just blame this on Obama himself. We would be unwise to do that. Uh, the image of Obama, the front man, the pitch man that is Obama, though, uh, has been the most deadly weapon against this country, against the free market, against wealth, against stability, and against a, any type of future that we've ever seen. And so we're going to be breaking that down coming up here in just a moment. And then I know David, it was funny, when I talked to David about doing the show today, because I was like getting back into town, he um, said, you know, I'd like to cover Nixon and the contrast to Obama. And I'd already sent the guys Friday night an email to the producers saying, get these clips of Nixon ready. I want to cover this. So uh, we're on the same page. We're going to break here, David. But what's some of the other stuff you're going to be covering? Well, Alex, there's a lot of news. There's a Missouri crowd. We had a massive riot in Missouri where someone was killed, very much like the story that was picked up by the Drudge Report on Friday about a guy who was carrying a BB gun in Walmart, a Walmart BB gun he was going to purchase and was shot dead by the police. Now we had a very large riot in Missouri, and Mitch McConnell's wife is actually sitting on the board of a group that's working to kill the coal industry. You know, Obama was supposed to be the enemy of the coal industry. Maybe we've got some Republicans. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. Most people know that iodine deficiency has been a crisis around the world. Iodine is key to so many of the body's functions, especially the thyroid. I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group. You now know it as Survival Shield, true nascent iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. Nobody else 
has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, and the best part is it helps fund InfoWars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off Super Detox Special at InfoWarsLife.com. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Well, there's a lot of really uh, interesting, crazy news taking place around the world. We'll be breaking it all down, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Again, we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday worldwide edition uh, Again, I am your host, Alex Jones. David Knight is riding shotgun with us there in the TV slash radio studios in Austin, Texas. And there is just so much to get into, uh, obviously, uh, here today. We have horror at NASCAR as a race car star kills. Uh, driver trying to confront him on the track. Shocking video. Uh, no criminal charges uh, imminent. I guess the answer is to ban cars. If somebody uses a car for something violent, you've got to convict everybody and not let anybody have cars. That's the gun control uh, argument. Uh, we've uh, also got the really serious issues like the imploding falling border. We've got Obama supposedly into day three or day four of airstrikes on Islamic State or ISIS, who've renamed themselves formerly Al-Qaeda. We're going to give you the news behind the news, the rest of the story about how that's actually completely staged. Uh, that's coming up today. Uh, we've got uh, Republican leaders going after the coal industry, working with Obama to shut off half of this nation's power that will totally cripple us when Mexico and China and India and every other country in the third and old world is allowed to use coal. We're, we're not allowed to. Cheapest power source out there. It's such a huge issue. Uh, that's all coming up today. 40th anniversary well, came up earlier this week on Friday of Obama's uh, uh, prototype, Richard Milhouse Nixon, resigning. So David Knight's going to be covering that as well coming up in the next segment. Again, David Knight is in studio. This is a live uh, Sunday edition uh, here today, ladies and gentlemen. And David Knight will be taking your phone calls uh, coming up in the next hour. David, that's just some of what we're going to be breaking down. I want to get into ISIS first before we go to the special video report that I shot for InfoWars Nightly News that we're going to premiere uh, here for the radio audience today. Uh, but first off, is there other news? I know you've got a big stack of important news you're going to be breaking down as well. Well, Alex, I think it's significant that you're going to be talking about ISIS, that Obama is now saying that this fight in Iraq that he's beginning is now going to be a, quote, long-term project. In other words, this isn't something they said that is going to be solved in just a few weeks. This is going to take some time. That's according to Bloomberg. So this is something that is... Uh, this is something that's been going on for quite some time. As you point out in the report, we've had this happening and building in Syria as well. And, of course, it even goes back to Libya and back to Benghazi. And you remember after the Libyan war stopped, we had Senator Sessions question uh, Panetta, who was then the defense secretary, as to under what conditions do you believe you can start a war? And they had that very interesting back and forth going on at the time. We're now seeing this happening again. And of course, I think it's interesting that Obama waited until after Congress left so that he wouldn't have to go to them and, and pretend in any way, shape or form. You know, Nixon had his secret bombing of Cambodia, but Obama does his things now right out in the open. He ignores the law right out Absolutely. in the open. We have a special report that I shot Friday for the Nightly News that we'll play on the radio coming up at the bottom of the hour. But uh, I want people to understand something. A, 
ISIS, Islamic State, is al-Qaeda renamed. They are the worst of the worst of radical Islamic extremists. They're beheading babies, blowing up churches, blowing up non-radical Muslim mosques. They've killed over 300,000 people conservatively, according to the United Nations, in the three-plus years they've been attacking Assad. And our government and the French government and the, and the British government and the Qatari government, uh, the, the government of Qatar, the government of Saudi Arabia, is on record, and anybody can look this up, funding IS, which bordered uh, in Syria, their operations, bordered Iraq. And, and so here's the issue. These are a horrible group of people. And I said when they poured into Iraq four months ago that they had huge convoys of hundreds of vehicles and armored vehicles. Why weren't Predator drones taking them out then when they were attacking U.S. military bases uh, that had been turned over to the Iraqis years ago? Why weren't they being taken out like a highway of death with Saddam's convoys that were leaving Kuwait? Because the truth is the deal was signed years ago between Iran and Saudi Arabia, the Shiite and Sunnis, to split up Iraq. Islamic State gets a third of it, bordering Syria to take over part of Syria. A new country is being formed. This is all on record. It's just not on the news. The North goes to the Kurds and the EU and the Chinese that can, are, are now controlling that oil to a great extent. It's been carved up. This is what the great powers always do throughout history, different empires. And the South uh, and East uh, then will go to Iran and will basically merge with Iran. So this is a total screw job on the most secular pro-America country, except for Israel and Egypt, in the Middle East. Of course, Egypt is in Africa. The most pro-America regime under Saddam Hussein. He was put in by the CIA in 79. They had movie theaters, rock and roll music, women could go to college, no burqas. I'm not defending Saddam, but compared to IS, he was literally an angel cake. And they have now, after 20 years, destroyed the country, taken their weapons, broken the nation up, and now they're turning al-Qaeda loose to murder everybody. So why is Obama now bombing them? Well, it's very simple. The huge congressional hearings about why was the government openly funding al-Qaeda, that's why they changed the name to ISIS and then IS to confuse people. The military had those campaigns we can put on screen with Infowars.com saying, I won't fight for al-Qaeda. Rand Paul, Ted Cruz said, we're not al-Qaeda's Air Force, on and on and on. So we have all of that going on. And then there's major heat that our government is actually behind protecting al-Qaeda. Now, al-Qaeda isn't controlled by the U.S. government or by NATO. They fund them. They protect them. They give them the weapons. They make sure they don't get blocked coming into the U.S. by the U.S. embassy. That's all on record before 9-11. It's the same story. It's like a group of, 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 of bees in a beehive that the New World Order, the globalists go and throw into countries that they want to destabilize. So it's a real threat. It's a real group. But... They then use the threat of this group that they turn loose to take over countries, to destabilize them, and take our liberties in the West via the threat of al-Qaeda, who we thought was defeated, suddenly being allowed to gestate, to gestate and to grow into this huge force that can now topple a major military uh, in Iraq. It is truly unprecedented. And then finally, they're bombing some old artillery. They're bombing some old armored vehicles. They're claiming, oh, we're protecting minority Muslim groups stuck on a mountain. Isn't Obama sweet? When, 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 when ISIS is simply trying to go into areas where they've not been told they can have it, and so they're being kept in line to only take the areas mainly where Christians are at to be slaughtered in mass, because even the UN admits the slaughter of Christians by Muslim extremists is exponential, and when Obama won't talk about that, he'll just talk about some Muslim minority on a mountaintop, so that's why he's had a few dozen airstrikes that are literally a joke and wouldn't take out a Somali warlord, folks. ISIS is probably 50 to 100 times bigger than some of the biggest Somali warlords. This is totally and completely staged and probably just like the airlift of evil back in 2001 with the invasion of Afghanistan, totally staged. And they're probably just bombing old artillery and things as we know they did when they supposedly invaded Afghanistan in 2001. The real Taliban and Al-Qaeda were on NATO payroll, were protected and then flown out of the country, 40-something thousand of them, into 